This is the Soapbox Project, and these are data records. I'm going to pull a record and then talk about it. I'm the social justice chair for the campus, and so we're doing these on all the campuses and just falling into a quick five-minute conversation. All of the topics we cover are gender, generations, incarceration, and privilege. I did this project initially after the Sherman Park riots after a young black man was shot by police officers and the city was justifiably enraged and hurt and confused and we wanted to create a space where people could just get those things out of their chest. So we built these wooden soap boxes and invited people to stand up on the soap boxes and just say the thing. Parole officers have enormous power to dictate whom they can see, where they can go, and whether they are allowed to do perfectly legal things like have a beer. Breaking those rules can land a parolee back in jail. The decision is up to the parole officer. We find that we don't say things that mean the most to us because we're concerned that it's going to turn into an argument, it's going to turn into a three-hour debate on the internet, and we don't learn to listen the same way. Not only can I speak my opinion, I don't have to agree with yours, but I should at least be able to listen to it. And we need to build that back up for the hard work that's in front of us as a community, as a city, as a nation. You want to come pull a record? And let's talk about it. Educate me. So from your coursework, like, what's one thing that comes to your mind? If I were sitting here with a clipboard, no one would want to come talk to me. But everyone is curious, what is this lady doing with these vinyl records? There's a gallery that's at the downtown campus that people are able to continue to make comments and then we report those back out. We have a class that's turning some of the quotes into art and most importantly all of the commentary has been shared with leadership, particularly the quotes that are MATC specific. So in addition to having these conversations that we share as community members, there are also some observations, concerns, insights about MATC as an institution that people don't always have the space or feel that they're allowed to say and this is, gives them an outlet to know that it'll be received and know that it's going to be shared. You're used to change. Would you say that's true or not true for you? Yeah, I'd say that's true. These conversations have been complicated for years, for decades, for generations. The complication and the hurt that's in the conversation doesn't mean it has to be painful. And because we are concerned about it being painful, we haven't had them. And from an institutional standpoint, and not just MATC, any large institution has gone generations not having to have the discussion. So where we are now at this point in our shared history, we have to have the talk. Well, we appreciate your grace. Yeah. And that's appreciate the whole you. thing. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you for your time. Yeah, that was you. easy, right? Yeah. You did you did great. Thank you, you did great. Thank you. Thank you.